Coffee with Pastor. This is December the 10th of 2023, and again, good morning to you. This is the Lord's Day, and this is Coffee with Pastor. I have my hot cup of coffee right here beside me, and I have my copy of the Word of God open to the book of Psalms, the book of Psalms and chapter 48. We will be reading the 48th Psalm in just a few moments, and please join us there. And as we start this Lord's Day, let me just again remind you that if you are able, you belong in the local church. You belong participating in the local church. It's not just a matter of going so that others can minister to you, but that you might be able to minister to others. If you are in our area and do not have a local church, we certainly would invite you to come and join us at First Baptist Church of Prudenville. What I like to say is the greatest church in America in spite of its preacher. And it is just an amazing group of people to be with. And I don't think it happens very often. At least it does not happen enough. But for a pastor to say, I am the one that am truly blessed to be a part of First Baptist Church of Prudenville or a part of whichever church a pastor may be a part of. And I certainly feel that way. So let me just turn our attention to our pastor's list and we will go ahead and read that. And then we will bow together for a word of prayer. Let's go through it. Uh, I put my name right there, Pastor Douglas Stockwell, uh, also Pastor Tony Barber, Pastor Dave Boylett, Pastor Rich Collins, Pastor Ryan Edmonds, Pastor Ken Ford, Pastor D David Grinnell, Pastor Jeff Gwilt, Pastor Dave Hanson, Pastor Jim McKinnis, Pastor Glenn McMorris, Pastor Steve Milam, Pastor Andrew Smith, Pastor Zach Stamp, Pastor Doug Strader, Pastor Tom Teal, Pastor Brian Teed, Pastor Chris Wass, and Pastor Tim Whalen. And we would encourage you to, again, uh, keep these men before the throne of grace. And if your pastor is not on that list, let us know. We would be more than happy to update our list yet again. And so please, let's bow together for a word of prayer. Let's pray together. Glorious Heavenly Father, good morning. And we want to stop and recognize that it is our privilege to be in front of your throne. We thank you for the grace that made it possible on this Lord's Day. Father, as we stop and we reflect on the fact that it is indeed the Lord's Day, we pray that as your people we would be faithful. For each one that is physically able to be in your house, we pray to that end. We pray that they would make it a priority to be in your house, to minister to your people, not just to be ministered unto. Father, we thank you and we praise you for each one that joins us each and every day. You know the needs that are represented and we just lift them into your presence. And Father, ask that you would meet them according to your wisdom and according to your grace. Father, as we lift these pastors into your presence, they have prepared their hearts they have prepared in their studies. Father, we ask your blessing upon your word as it's proclaimed today. That it would go forth boldly. That it would carry a blessing to your people. That it would carry a challenge to those that need to be challenged. And Father, work your work in, the, in your church, in the hearts and the lives of your people in order that we might become what you want us to be. Father, again, we pray for your church. Father, it's one thing for the pastors to stand and to proclaim the word. But Father, we pray that our response to your word would bring honor and glory to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, it is indeed our pleasure, 
our joy to gather together with your people. May today be a very blessed day as we meet together. Help us to grow closer together. Help us to grow closer to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And Father, may you be glorified in your church. Thank you, Father. And Father, you also realize those who are unable to make their way to church today. And we ask a, a very special blessing upon them as well. Lord, you know their hearts. You know their desire. And Father, I pray that you would bless it as only you can. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for who you are, and again, for our pleasure of being able to come before your throne. Bless us today as we read your word. We ask this in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen. We are in Psalm 48. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness. Beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion. On the sides of the north, the city of the great king. God is known in her palaces for a refuge. For lo, the kings were assembled, they passed by together. They saw it, and so they marveled. They were troubled and hasted away. Fear took hold upon them there, and pain as of a woman in travail. Thou breakest the ships of Tarshish with the east wind. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God. God will establish it forever. Selah. We have thought of thy loving kindness, O God, in the midst of thy temple. According to thy name, O God, so is thy praise unto the ends of the earth. Thy right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Judah be glad because of thy judgments. Walk about Zion and go round about her. Tell the towers thereof. Mark ye well her bulwarks and consider her palaces, that ye may tell it to the generation following. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even unto death. And may God add his blessing to the reading of his word. Let me just repeat the first, first verse that we read today. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountains of his holiness. Great, great is our God. He certainly is, and this is the God we ask you to be faithful to, to bow before him, to submit yourself to him, to do his will and to seek his glory. Beloved, today is the Lord's day. You need to be in God's church, in the church of Jesus Christ. If you are unable, we would invite you shortly after 11 o'clock, our services go live on Facebook, and we would invite you to join us if you are unable to make your way into church. But beloved today, be faithful. Never allow yourself to become someone else's excuse for turning away from the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Beloved, God loves you very, very dearly, and so do we. And until tomorrow, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.